Okay, this is chapter 7.9, part 3, the last section of the year. Ta-da! And would it, of course, be one of your most favorite things to do, graphing inequalities. Woo! Alright, so graphing inequalities <coughs> with square roots is no different than graphing any other inequality with lines or quadratics. Um, there's going to be a dotted or a dashed choice. There's going to be shading happening. The only thing that we have to be careful of here is staying within our restricted domain and range. Range, yes, domain. Okay, um, so let's jump in. We're going to graph it the same way. Remember, we always start graphing an inequality by graphing the equation. Okay, so we're going to start by making our table. And we're looking for our square root to be those wonderful, nice numbers. So if we let 2x minus 6 equals 0, if we add 6, 2x equals 6, divide by 2, x is going to equal 3. So when x is 3, we plug x in here, 3 times 2 is 6, minus 6 is 0, square root of 0 is 0. Okay, if we let 2x minus 6 equal 1, we're going to add 6 and get 2x equals 7, divide by 2, and x equals 7 halves or 3.5. You can leave it however you want. Plug in that for x. 2 times 3.5 is 7. 7 minus 6 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1. Now if we let 2x minus 6 equal 4, we're going to add 6. 2x equals 10. Divide by 2. x equals 5. When we put 5 in, 2 times 5 is 10, minus 6 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. Can you guess what the last one will be? At least the last y value? Okay, if we let it equal 9, add 6. 2x equals 15, divide by 2. That is going to be 15 halves or 7.5. These are all separate. Okay, so we put in 7.5 here. 2 times 7.5 is 15. Minus 6 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. Okay? Over here, we're going to graph. So we're going to be at 3, 0. Can you see that blue? Okay. Um, 3.5, 1. Five, two, and 7.5, 7 7.5, 3. Okay, now, once we have those dashed, now we go back to our inequality. Am I going to be using a solid or a dashed line? Here this is strictly less than, so I'm going to be using a dashed line for this inequality. Okay, once we draw the dash, now we have to do some shading. All right, so we're going to pick a test point. Here, my domain is restricted at this x point. So my shading is going to happen either underneath the curve from here to here or outside, up above. Okay, so if we pick a test point, we want to make sure it's within our domain. So we're going to pick something like, oh, I don't know, there, 5, 1. So I'm going to test 5, 1. If I put 5 in here, I'm going to have 1 is less than the square root of 2 times 5 minus 6. So, this is the question. The square root of 10 minus 6, which is 4. And then I'm going to have 1 is less than 2. Is that correct? Yes. So that means we're going to shade down here. And you're going to want to shade not past that domain spot, which is down here. Yay! Okay? That is our square root inequality. Let's do one more just to make sure we have the hang of it. Okay, here we're going to graph y is greater than or equal to negative square root of x plus 1. So we're going to graph the equation. Oops, there's a negative sign. Negative x plus 1. So on our x, y table, our 
our special values that we want to get are 0, 1, 4, 9. So if we let x plus 1 equal 0, x is negative 1. If we put negative 1 in, negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Square root of 0 is 0. If we put 1 in, we want the underneath our square root to equal 1. Subtract 1 on both sides, x equals 0. When x is 0, x plus 1 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1 times a negative is negative 1. We set what's underneath here equal to 4. Subtract 1, x equals 3. When we put 3 in, 3 plus 1 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2 times a negative, negative 2. And then we set it equal to 9, x equals 8. So 8 plus 1 is 9, square root of 9 is 3, times a negative, negative 3. Okay, if we graph this over here, I'm going to be at negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1, 3, negative 2, and 8, negative 3. Okay, once you have them graphed, go back here. Am I going to use a solid or a dashed line? This has the equal to, so I'm going to use a solid line like that. Okay, and now we need to pick a test point with our domain and range in mind. So we want to stay within this area. Okay, so if I pick, oh, I don't know, hmm, let's go with 2, negative 1. That means y is negative 1 greater than or equal to the negative square root, my x is 2, plus 1. So I'm going to have negative 1 square root of 3. Well, the square root of 3 is slightly bigger than 1. So we're going to have negative... Let me do the calculator. The square root of 3 is 1.73-ish, so we're going to have negative 1.73. Is negative 1 greater than negative 1.73? Yes. So we're going to shade, again, not going past that line, we're going to shade towards our test point. Okay? So if it works, you shade towards the test point. If it doesn't work, shade against it. Um, yeah. Just like any other inequality. Okay? So have fun graphing. I'll see you in class.